guys we are an hour we're 20 hours from home now about an hour and a half to go hopefully they let us cross we, we really don't know how this is gonna play out yet but we're we're on our way we're close we're seven hours from Rad Torque Raceway and uh, we're ready to get this show on the road so we're eight days into our three-day trip <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah man it's a long ways up here eh? man we're 20 hours hang from on, home hang on. yeah and uh man it just seems never ending i know and now we are not going in here to hide merch no for whenever we cross the no, no, no. oh my god what what's wrong why would you say that i said i, I said we're not I said we're that not. is it's not like we're, what we're doing it's the same we're, we're racing in mess we're racing in mexico not oklahoma city yeah i said that's not what we're that's doing what, that's what fixes it yeah so so you think they're gonna let us cross I don't know, we're gonna find out. Jeff just got through. Yeah. He said it took him an hour and a half. Oh man. I feel like Jeff's a little more on the up and up too. I don't know. Erin is, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Except for the stuff that we hide from her. She's old square. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she is. She's gonna do everything by the book. Yeah, which probably keeps us out of a lot of trouble. It does. It does. But now we gotta figure out what you wanna do. I I don't care. If there's gonna be some issue with that not being my car, then you need to drive this. If there's this not, isn't your car either, though. If it's not. It's definitely not. Yeah, so, so, I don't, so I don't know. Yeah. I say right before we get to the border. We just, can make an assessment. Yeah, we'll just swap. There's a little town right before the border. Like well, then, literally right on the border. Well, then we'll just swap and I'll drive through in this. Okay. And then you should just be able to go right through in this. Okay. You don't, you don't have anything in there that they're going to frown on, do you? No, otherwise I'd have got some good sleep last <laughs> night. I'm over it, man. Yeah. I can't. Once we get up there, we're gonna have to get some gummies or something. Yep. Like, I can't, I could have at least brought some up until this point. Yes. And now we've been two nights on the road and I haven't slept. Yeah, you even got a nice hotel room last night. I know. And couldn't get no sleep. Couldn't get no sleep, man. So. so oh, uh, Ford things. Damn Ford. So, we are situating a few things here and then we are gonna make our way towards the border and see we can actually get into Canada to go to go do this deal. So um, I don't know. We'll probably show you the uh, the circus that is about to ensue once we get there. So um, stay tuned. We got an hour and a half to go. We'll turn this thing back on when we get to the border and, and see what's up. <laughs> the american side were really cool man yeah like man that's pretty cool dude uh even this one dude goes man i'm a fan but not like so and so and yeah. he said his name he goes i wish he was here and not me he was like you have no idea so hey he facetimed oh, man, him and that's cool he facetimed him and i saw pictures of his nova damn yeah dude, like hey clean real clean big block and i was like there's nothing here like yeah what are y'all like he goes no the car's still in uh i don't know iowa or something uh, where, wherever he was originally from yeah. but anyways you know they gave me this and the coin nice you know to nice. add to the collection so, how was your cavity search uh, it was great yeah. man i mean you know <laughs> a little more gentle than aaron. Or little, a little more gentle than aaron yeah you know but no it, it wasn't bad man like uh the only time i opened the trailer door twice that was just so that people could look at the Nova. Like oh, the yeah. first dude goes, is it in there? <laughs> and he just looked at me and I was like, if, Man, you're, talk I hope so. if you're talking about the OG, yes, it's in there. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. yeah, and then they they both you know went down and looked inside the car and everything. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So the Canadians, they nothing, didn't care. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Our guy had a sweet mustache. Really? Yeah. Uh, he kind of looked like a shorter, shorter Mexican dude. Yeah. And it, yeah, yeah. It kind of, yeah. I seen him. He was inside. Yeah. Because I saw him and I go, man, that's a sweet mustache. <laughs> yeah, that's him. No, he was inside. Yeah. So we made so it across. We messed up the first time though. Um, what do you mean? Well, you're supposed to. And Michelle, our broker, had told us numerous times. But you know, we're stupid. Yeah. She said you have to go to the American side first. They go, yeah, no, hey, he really has all this stuff. <laughs> You know, and then the Canadians look at it and go, all right, y'all's right, he really does have this stuff. Yeah. And then, when you're coming back, you gotta do the same thing. The Canadians go, okay, he's still got all the stuff he came through with and nothing new. Yeah. And, and then the Americans verify that. Yeah. Well, I just pulled up to the Canadian side and he goes, uh, you have to fill out this carnet first. And I was like, well, I have a broker that filled all that out. And he goes, no, 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 you gotta stop at the American side first. And I, I didn't see no American side, did you? When you no, pulled in, no. there was a sign that was literally this big this says american and it had the parking lot Aww. where you park in the middle and so the dude said you're gonna have to swing around so i had to swing around and wait in the line the long line i cut but yes man dude that line dude, was hey that line was like three kilometers long or yeah, something. Something, something so um so yes but luckily where I cut through at, I just snuck in there. And then I told Aaron, I go, look, all the semis are going this way. So then I even went around all them. Yeah. And then I pulled up there and the first American goes, no way. As soon as I pulled up, I was like, yes. Uh, it's gonna be a yeah. good day. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice. Yep. And uh, he was like, wow, no kidding. You know, and I was like, look, man, obviously you know who I am. I'm stupid, dude, I need some help. <laughs> And uh, he goes, all right, man. Yeah. And uh, pretty much, man, he held, he, he walked me through everything. Nice, held your hand and yeah, everything. Yeah, held my hand and everything. And then that wasn't enough that we went to another wrong place. He said, look, you go past this, there's a big parking lot over here, park there and then come inside. Well, if you read the all the signs, uh -huh. we went inside, but not inside where the commercial stuff was. Uh. So then there's a line of, I don't know, 25 people. We're standing in line. Finally, this dude looks at me and goes, he calls me up to the front and he goes, you got the carnet, right? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, I thought that was you. And he goes, you got the car out there? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, okay, follow me. And then he bypassed all that. And he and uh, said, this isn't the line you need to be in anyways. Nice. So he takes me to another building and just knocked it all out right there. Nice. So, can't bet it wasn't that bad. Nice. So we, we made it in. We've got about five hours to go to get to the track. Don't you know? And if you think about it, man, even people in South, uh, North Dakota and shit talk like that. Yeah. People in Wisconsin talk like that. Yeah. People. Michigan, like, everything. Dude, it's just, it's yeah. North. It's not like as soon it's as It's just like we don't board, notice our accents yeah. until you hear yourselves on video it, around it, someone that doesn't like, talk like that. It's kind of like the Texas thing. Like, we, our, text, our, our accents aren't as bad as Texas, no. but it slowly gets worse as you go. <laughs> so, we have finally made it nine days on our four day trip later to Rat Torque Raceway. Yeah, it's hot. It is, it is. It's hot, like it's, it's actually hot. Like not in the shade, hotter than we've ever bad. been. It's not bad in the shade. But it's hotter than I expected it to be. It's yeah. almost as hot as it was in our house last night. Well, it's weird the fact that in my, in my mind, no matter what, when you go north, it gets cooler. Yep. I guess it is cooler than home. It's like 104 It's cooler right than at home. Right yeah, it, it's better than uh, 100 plus temperatures. With 90% um, humidity. With 90, because the, the humidity here is only 40%. Yeah. So that's, how can it be that hot with 40% humidity? So, yeah. I it's mean, not at home, I'd be sweating, sweating here. I'm just kind of listening. Well, I haven't taken my uh, med meds yet today. Yeah. I'll be sweating here a little bit. And then everybody's going to go, oh, yeah, you're not used to this heat, huh? Yeah. Which, you're probably not going to sweat because you haven't drank no water yet. Not yet, I haven't. Not yet. 
super now. dehydrated. It's, it's, only, it's, only like, it's only like one o'clock. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we're here, car's out. We haven't uh, had a chance to check out the track yet, but I've heard it's we good. do have the golf cart today. We do. So we'll be able to cruise around. We haven't uh, had the golf cart in a while, guys, because we've been pushing with the Mini. So now that we have the golf cart, we will do our normal, let's drive the track. Uh, we don't gotta worry about the scales. No. Got away there, in fact, dude. I don't even care where the scales are at. at this it place. doesn't matter. Doesn't does not matter. Uh, the car, it is what it is. We know this thing's heavy. Yep. Uh, this car right now on a small tire is way heavier than our MPK car. Uh, hang on, 2875. It's, it's 175 it's not, pounds it's heavier. Close. 175 pounds heavier. With about 100 pounds in the trunk. 100. And, yes, something like that. How about uh, things are better than than what he has. They lost his baggage. Who? So Fitz? Yeah, so look at that Cola Cola shirt. He uh he bought that at Walmart this morning. It's the shorts, <laughs> the socks, nice, underwear. Oh, oh, Very good. Cargo nice. Short. nice. Like hey, it. it looks good. Looks good, eh? Yeah. Hey, Trip yeah. was like, Trip was trying to get me to get the jean shorts and American flag shirt. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. What is this shirt all about? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, the people that we've met so far seem very, very excited about us being here and I'm gonna be honest, that never gets old. Yeah. Um, Kinda keeps and, coming back for more. Well, the only thing that, that keeps on popping in my head is how many people throughout my life, and mainly the, the last, what, 12 years? 13 years since we 12, started 12, 12. this? Get that 10 minutes, baby. Yeah, man. Get, get that 10 minutes, baby. Uh, this must be minute number nine. Yeah. Because it never gets old, the people that you meet that are as excited as what these people are. Uh, we had a dude that followed us into the track in a GT500 Mustang. Yeah. And until we stopped, he followed us around. I signed his trunk on that GT500 Mustang. Wow, it looked brilliant. brand new. No, it looked brand new, like a brand new car. Yeah. And he was stoked, man. You know, right. so the, the, the amount of people that are that excited to meet us, man, it don't never get old. It's a... Uh, it's it's weird that it will humble you whenever it should make your head bigger should it i mean in a sense it still does but also at the same time it's like wow no no it's crazy because i'm it's sure crazy you were like think. me and you have people in your life tell you would never be shit. oh yeah you know my whole mean? life <laughs> my whole i had people tell their kids don't hang out with him because he ain't never gonna be shit. <laughs> yep. so yep. you know it is what it is yep. i had a lot of friends that in secret. That had to be your secret. Had to be friend. my secret yeah. friends. Yep. Their parents couldn't know. Their, their parents couldn't know that we hung out. <laughs> hey man, don't tell my dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey man, there's my dad, Duck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and things like that. Yep. So, but anyways, it is. Uh, it, it's very humbling to think, and, and I tell people all the time at MPKs, uh, we may be stupid, but I'm not real sure who's more dumb, me or you guys that are standing in line to meet me. You yeah. know, like yeah. it's it's it still blows my mind that that many people come to meet us and come to watch us race, and they make it a big deal. Uh, we pulled in the parking lot, and and it's already there's a lot of people here. There it is for Thursday at noon. There's a lot of people here, you know, and we we didn't bring the big rig. We we came bare minimum, uh, and, and I'm wondering right now if we if we brought enough merch. So yeah. if we didn't, so be it. It yeah, is what it is. Ship it to them. Go so to the website. Uh, we got you know the love of our life sitting over here on a small tire, and uh, we're gonna have fun. Just ready to do whether work. we sell merch or not. Yep. So just just ready to, ready to go out there and do something. So we'll take you guys with us whenever we go check out the track. Uh, we're gonna get this thing set up. Uh, I am going to stay in the trailer. Uh, it was have very AC, huh? very hot in the house last night. Um, we get to the, the Airbnb and you don't think about different parts of the, the world. Obviously, it gets very, very cold here. Yep. For a month, I guess, many months I out of the year. I guess for a couple of weeks out of the, the year or a month out of the year, it gets warm. This is the time that it gets warm. Uh, the house next to ours looks like a very, very nice big mansion type deal. Yeah. And it has window units in it. Just two of them. I will tell you right there that they, when they build these places, they are not prepared for heat. Uh, we turned on the air conditioner when we got to the house last night. After about 15 minutes of it not cooling off, we started wondering and we started looking around. There's no AC in the house. No. So it was, uh, 
by our math, it was 84 in the house, which is you 29 gotta, Celsius. You, yeah, you got to convert to Celsius to yeah. Fahrenheit. Monopoly, yeah. Uh, it was 29 in the house, which is 84, and uh, that's too hot. That's so. too hot to sleep. So we got all the fans out of the trailer that we used to cool the car off. We put them in the windows and blew in air because at night it was it cooled off. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> so we're gonna get up on top of the trailer, try to fix our AC that is on that because it's freezing up. And uh, I'm gonna sleep in the trailer tonight. All right. Well, you get up there. I'm gonna. Sleep it's gonna be there. hot up in that trailer. You know. You know. It's uh, like a tin roof yeah, up there. Yeah. Yeah. My no, knees are gonna. It's gonna be hot. Yeah. Hopefully, it's just very, very, very dirty. I'm and sure we're just gonna is. clean it out, blow it off. So if you would get find me an air blower. We got our. I know. Do we have an air? That ain't gonna do nothing. That's like me going. No, no, no. Oh, we got the good one, the Milwaukee. Okay, well, hopefully we can just get up there, clean it all up, and it'll cool us off tonight. I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, man, golf cart tours. We ain't got to do this in like a season and a half. Look at this thing. What do you think that doing is? I don't know. Like, it doesn't really do nothing. Nothing. But it's got their logo on it. It's doing something, eh? Hey. That is the owner of the track. <laughs> Walk up to him. Hey, man, what's this all the boot? What is this? Mm. What is this thing a boot? What's this contraption a boot? Look, they're... It does look pretty good. Man, from hey, here. that dude told me that it's 100% a no prep out here. And then he goes, they had an event here and they sprayed the track last night. Uh, <laughs> I think that they're going to put one light coat over it. Oh, and my I was God. Like, oh, That's prep, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, we we yeah. have the ability to go fast on this. Look, from here to here, we can set in this bald spot and our car's going to go. Uh huh. And then because it won't we gain 125, any wheel speed. 60 foot. <laughs> and then it won't gain any wheel speed till yep. out here. Uh, yeah, let's drive down the track. Right. I think I think so. So I mean, I feel like there were some tracks in Australia that were not near as good as this. Yes. It so, wasn't Sydney. No. But, well, even that last track we went to looked terrible, and then we made, we had our fastest pass the whole time. But if you remember, everybody said how bad it was. Yeah. And it was terrible and all that, yeah. and then it turned out it was all right. Yeah. I think this is just, they had all this stuff so that they could scrape it. I feel like we have so much power pulled out of the car anyways, that even though the air is shit, it's not gonna affect us much. No, we'll just put a little more power in it. Yes. Yes, I, I, I think you're probably right. Man, hey, it's <laughs> sticky out here, dude. We're gonna put some mile an hours on them out here. Man, dude. Yeah, you're sounds slowing like, the golf cart like a, down. a rotator. Yeah. yeah. You were slowing the golf cart down. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so ra racing is expensive, right? Even even though we brought the small tire car, it's still a pro charge Hemi. It's, it's expensive to race this. Yes. Um, well, and not only the racing part, the we travel. drove 30 hours to get here. Yes. So Lots of fuel. Lots of fuel. Uh, lots of litres of, of fuel. <laughs> lots of litres. Um, yeah, man, you should have seen me and Sean in the first uh, uh, truck stop up here trying to do conversions. We're going, uh... <laughs> we look like Alan. From look, the man, <laughs> mine is going to need, I told you, man, mine's going to need 30, mine's going to take 35 gallons. Yeah, so then we had to convert that to litres. So then we had to convert that to litres, and then we had to convert yours to litres, uh -huh. and then we had to convert the litres, the, the Canadian money, to American, or the American money to the yes, Canadian money yes. to tell them this is how much we need. Yeah. And then we weren't even close. No, we were like double. <laughs> so. Well, also, did it fill your truck it, up? It, no, it didn't. It didn't fill the driver tank up because it clicked off and wouldn't come back on. But So, long way of saying, uh, we got some people that came on board, our team, to help us out with this trip. With, hey, without them, yes, we, it may, we, we may not be here. Yes, yeah, so. Uh, companies like Milron Truck Body, uh, they do aluminum like service beds on their trucks Aren't, and stuff. Yeah, no, and you've dude, always wanted you. So hey, God, I, dude, I, I want them. one so bad. Hey, I looked at them, and you've always told me that you wanted to build a truck that has a service I bed on it. Hey, and they're aluminum too. They are. So, did you look at the whole production line that they man, have? Man, dude, and everything? it is cool. So that video that they put out that we shared, man, dude, that was a cool video. Oh, I showed seen the that. whole process. Yeah, it was really cool. So, oh, 
that must that must be what I saw. Probably. Because I didn't look. I didn't go to their website. Yeah. You know I didn't go to somebody's website. Yeah. I, I watched a video and it showed the production of them making the beds yes. and all that. Yes. Okay, then that's what I saw. So Milron Truck Body and OK Tire have come on board with us up here in Canada for both races. Hey, look, man, we may have to go see OK Tire. But you never know. Like you never know. I can't believe a couple of them guys made it. After even after I told them. A couple of you guys aren't making this trip. <laughs> yeah, six of you are leaving. Yeah, six <laughs> of you guys are back. leaving home. A couple of y'all is not going to make it back. Yeah, we made it all the way here. We made it all the way here on the same tires. Hey, so that's saying something. Yep. Like I don't feel like they owe us a dime. Not that trailer's nothing. been sitting, which we took it to. Uh, you remember when we won Conquer the Country? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Uh, we took it to that race, but yep. before that, California for the no prep for the. Uh, the, no, the small tire cash mega, days. Yeah, mega, mega cash, cash days, days was the last time we took that trailer anywhere. Yeah. Those tires have been sitting. They have. That, that's field. usually the hardest thing on. Yeah. But, you know, field. besides the heat. So. And plus, it was hot. It was hot. Man, dude, it was 110 coming through Kansas. I, I, I didn't even look. I just know that my neither of my ACs were very cold when we were coming through. Yeah. Well, think about the one in the excursion. Oh yeah, those six O. Yeah, they struggle. Yeah. But uh, so, anyways, we appreciate them being here. Um, as soon as we pulled into town, though, and we did our whole mathematics uh -huh. thing, you know, I felt like Rain Man over there. <laughs> yeah. We looked outside and we saw a uh, OK Tire. Uh, OK Tire. Yep. And you go, hey, those are some of our sponsors. Yep. So we, we appreciate them coming on board. Go ahead, check them out. If you're up here, even if you're not up here, check out their pages. Uh, we got a link to them in our, uh, in our description of this video. Go check them out. Give them a like, a follow. Which one was the one that everybody said, they sponsor all the good events up here and uh, all that? Milron. Milron. Yep. Okay. Yes. So, as soon as you posted them about them, everybody knew who they were. Yep. Uh, obviously, they're big in the racing community, and oh, Which there's is, the scales. Oh yeah, we don't need them boys. No. It'd be nice if they just turned on though. Just I'd like to see. see. Yeah. yeah. I have an idea. Yeah. So. A little bit heavier than the MPK car. A couple hundred pounds. Ish. So. I don't know, man. I've been steady losing weight. Yeah. <laughs> Still getting ready for MPK. Yeah, we got to look, tax, guys. Tax this, more is, this, is, this is how serious that, that that me and my team are about winning the championship this year. I'm still losing weight. Yeah, it's it's for real. I was two fifty four. Two fifty four. Nice job. That's not bad. That's that's pretty good, man. Not to mention what was I two eighty seven or something at the beginning of the season? Yes. Yep. Whenever we tested the like when we tested the MPK car, you were still up there. Yeah, I, I think I was in the actually in the two nineties. Yeah, like low two nineties. Remember, because 300 is my limit. I yeah. said I, I'll never get to that again. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, uh, yes, no, we're, we're for real about winning a championship. Last year we went out and said that if we don't finish top 10, we're done. Uh, we finished top five. And uh, now Four. we're – Yeah. Yeah, so now really the only where – the only, only place that's acceptable – or not really acceptable, but the only place we want to be after that is number one. So uh, What that's, is going on over here? They're, They're not shooting guns They're up shooting. here in Canada. Aren't, guns are legal, aren't they? I don't think so. They are for somebody. Now they shooting. Somebody's shooting, aren't they? Hey. What's going on over there, eh? Must be a moose. <laughs> what's, what's all that about? <laughs> what is all this about out here? <laughs> it must be a moose over there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they're filming uh, when moose attack. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Sorry guys, we don't mean anything bad. No, not. But nothing. we've been watching Super Tro Troopers too. Oh my and that's, it's Does just... anyone here? Do either of you speak English? <laughs> he goes. I, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> We're American. Do either of y'all speak any English? And he goes. I do. <laughs> oh man, I'm the sure Danny I bet the DeVito, Canadians hate the that The Danny movie. DeVito is the funniest yeah. thing I've ever heard. Get a fucking clue, bud. Get a fucking clue, bud. Ooh, I like him in that boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ron Perlman, bud. That's Ron Perlman. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. We like it. We're dumb Americans. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. We are. Hey, what, hey. What's this hey. thing all about? Man, hey. With the big so, block. Hey, dude, you got that baby back there, too. Yeah. Dude, hey, so I was measuring my truck the other day because I was just curious because I was daydreaming about stuff, right? Yep. About getting the motor back. Well, we like it. You know how much I'd have to move my motor back? Oh, a lot. Yes. Um, I'm guessing, what are you talking, mid plate to mid, rear end? Yeah. Mid plate to rear end. Just to get it to 84. Probably 108. Right now? Yeah. It would, close. It'd have to go back 25 inches. Yep. We like full-size trucks, man. Sorry, we just, yep. uh, we're fans of full-size trucks. And this man. one's pro-charged. 
So even better. Yeah. And that motor, that motor's back there. Way too. back there. Not too many like it. No. 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 All fiberglass? Uh, all carbon. All, all carbon. carbon. Hell nice. yeah. Hell yeah. What pro charger? Passing F3 121. 121? Nice. That's nice. what we run. That's the same one we run. The little guy will make some power. Yeah. That makes 34 pounds of boost. Hell yeah. Man, up here, we're hoping to make 34 pounds. This air is terrible up here, man. That's yeah, not great. We no. looked. We <laughs> We're not walking through the pits like we did in Australia. If you want to go look at cars, you can, but I'm not going to force you. You know, I'm not going to ask you to see them go down. Be I don't thing. Know about yeah, I think it'd be better. People who want to race uh, Mustangs already big let times. me know. And big times. And they're like, oh, we're racing. Some like, guy oh. came up and was like, my son will be racing. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> I told them the same deal. They said they only have two small tire cars. I go, yeah, I'd love to run a small tire car. They go, no, we've already decided you get the big tire car. <laughs> well, that was my fault. They 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 big tires. I was like, tire. you need to go see Scott. Yeah, well, trust oh, me, I've already let everybody know that you're the fastest I know, and I told them around. So. I said, I'm the slowest. I said, those fast guys never tell you they're real fast. <laughs> so the question is, that there's a, a pretty 2.54 centimeters in an inch. I know that much. Also, there's seven, a pretty seven. gnarly bump in the left. So a little over so you check with Brad on that? Three inches. Yeah, three inches. That's a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Me getting fuel was talking to Siri. Like, how many gallons I need here? How many liters I need? Oh, I got lucky when I came into camera. I just, you just took the cart. I stopped at one truck stop. Nope. It made me take an online course before it would let me get the fuel. Wow. And it has a pin number at the end, so when I go to the pump, I had to put the pin number in. I had to take a course of the where the emergency shutoff was. Like, it was weird. I'm like, nobody would ever get fuel at home with this. They wouldn't be able to pass the course. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I don't need gas. Typically, when I pull over, I need it. It's like, oh, God. Last night, going through the part of Montana. There's one charge. I stopped at Great Falls. I was like, fuck, I need fuel. There was nothing out there. What do you think, bud? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not real sure we learned anything in there. No. That's what that's what most drivers meetings are like though, honestly. Yeah. yeah no, we uh I don't know any more right now than what I did before that meeting. Yeah. Still don't know anything. There's a lot of people here though. There is a lot of people. Here. Okay, so we only got to bring five members of the uh the MPK All-Star team. Uh but it's it's a good five. So we're gonna start off. We got Scott Taylor with his 1992 Cutlass Supreme. Obviously, it's got a pro-charged Hemi, uh, just like the rest of us, and it is fast. He's sitting on a 28.10.5, and uh, we're gonna line him up against probably pretty much whatever they wanna line him up with because Scott's fast. Next up is Boosted GT and Kayla in Boosted's new Fox Body build. It's got his signature small block Ford with his big single turbo, and obviously, of course, on a 28.10.5, because that's just how Boosted GT rolls. Uh, this car hasn't made a lot of passes. I have seen some video of a couple of his test passes that he has made, and of course it's fast because it's boosted, and that's what boosted does. Ryan Martin brought his 69 Camaro, better known as the Phoenix. Uh, the Phoenix is a Proline Hemi with a Pro Charger on a 28.10.5, and you guys have seen this car dominate already on the street at uh, Mega Cash Days, and then also he won last year at Armageddon. So. Uh, we all know this car's fast, and I am betting that they are not going to cut him any slack with who they want him to race, so we'll see whatever they line him up against. Jeff Lutz has unloaded the GTO here in Canada. Uh, you guys know the car, been around for a while, twin turbo, big block Chevy, uh, and it's our only big tire car that we brought here, so uh, we're definitely going to be sticking him on their fastest cars that they've got, and uh, you know, I'm not sure that they brought anything fast enough to run with Jeff here. Last but not least, all of our favorite, or at least mine, the OG Mother Mobile. You watched us on our last video freshen up the Proline Hemi before putting it in the trailer and heading up to Canada here to do this racing. So, uh, it is fresh, ready to go, Pro Chargers in good health, and uh, we got this thing set on the 28105 and ready to see what kind of cars they want to throw at this thing this weekend.
So everyone's uh, kind of bagging on us because we didn't really do anything. Okay. We didn't we didn't fix anything from Australia. You all remember when something happened and the hood came off? I don't know, man. It's just kind of part of this car's personality now. So Sean asked if we wanted to fix it. And I said, I don't really want to fix it. I think it's cool. And now he's telling everybody that I wouldn't let him fix it. So we all know Sean listens to me about all things. But we are up here in the staging lanes. We're about to make our first pass. See what happens here. I think we're going to be all right. What do you think? What? Are we going to be all right? If people I, tend to think the OG is going to be all right. I, I tend to think the OG is going to be all right. And we're just always a mess with the MPK car. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't let the wind lights fool you, man. We're still a mess. Oh, yeah. So we don't know what this car is going to do. So basically, guys, uh, we, we've talked about it a few times. The air fuel is so much different up here than it is uh, where we're from. Uh, the only place that's comparable would be Bandamir. I'm sure there's more places that are comparable. I'm I sorry. It's going to be a lot like uh, Idaho. I wish we had the info from Idaho. Well, but we've never raced this car or with this Pro Charger oh, no. or any of that stuff at any of them places, so no. it doesn't matter. Yeah. So at this point right now, we're we're going to roll some dice. We pulled a lot of fuel out of the car because we the air is so shitty here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this. It's going to... It'd be tough to hurt a car in this air. But I'm sure it can be done. Let's see what Scott does. I'm not doing a burnout that big, just to let you know. It was on it pretty much from the jump. It was moving on the big end. Yeah, nice job. Um, now we get the plugs out of it and let's just see. Hey, I, I feel sure like there's there's more fuel that can be. Oh, no, no, it, it was slow. Hey, and I also felt it hit the, uh, you know, and slow down. Yeah. I mean, no one else made it. So you can look at it either way. 
<laughs> my front half went a 6-0. My second half went a 4 20. 20. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. I, and I could tell we knew we knew to kill some power out of it, out of the hole. Uh, everybody said that the right lane was the shittier lane, had bumps in it. Left lane was the shittier lane. That's why we went to that lane. We wanted to see what it would do. I don't know, but I didn't feel that. <laughs> that's right. That's right, baby. I just told that dude. That guy I just is. told that dude earlier, man. I love the wagon. <laughs> Uh, which lane did you want? We just pulled up here. Is this your home track? No. No? Oh, I'm Oh, that's right. You told me that earlier, huh? I mean, it didn't matter to me. I don't care. I'll take the left, I guess. You're going to take the left? We'll swap. Sure, I was in the right last time, so. You were? So was I. No, I was in the left, wasn't I? Okay. You got the back tire? Which way is it going to be easier for him to see the light? On the back tire. Yeah. Yeah, he's setting with the back. Yeah. So which lane do you need to see the tree better? Figure it out real quick. Because you're gonna be a whole car length up. Jeez, I don't even know. Three quarters of the car. I think it's far enough away that's not that big a deal. That's the whole reason I pulled over here. I figured it'd be easier for him to look out his window and see it. It's up to y'all though. Yeah. Okay. Take right lane. Yeah, we'll just, whatever, we'll figure it out. Good luck, brother. I'll see you on the other end. Oh, sucker. I wanted the left lane. <laughs> so, the scenario is you have given the back tire car. The big tire car. The back yep. tire. You've given the big tire car the back tire. Plus, you got to clear him at the finish line. What the clear means is you have to be a whole car in front of him at the finish line. I should have. You have to go I around him said and then. Car, not wheelie bars. We don't have wheelie bars. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking about clearing him. Yes. Well, that makes it better then. Yeah. Mm. Hey, that's what it is. But hopefully I can cut a better light than him and make up a little bit of it right yeah. there. Or he's gonna cut a better light on me, and then he's going to. And then to you're gonna have to make up more. We'll figure it out. It is. What it is.
All right, so day one of Canada is done. Um, got one one test pass in. We were only car on the property to make it down. It was pretty cool. I mean, wasn't fast, it, but it did what we needed it I to mean, do. It wasn't slow. No, it wasn't. So it wasn't. It, it went down. No one else did it. That's pretty cool. Crowd went wild, man. It's yeah. it's always cool yeah. to hear that. It's always good to uh, to get the OG out. You know, people just love this car, which yeah. you know for it's good reason. To. It's for hard good not reason. To. So we love it too. Yeah. So uh, all beat up, all bruised up, all every <laughs> everything that it is, it, it's still in its glory. Yep. You know. So uh, I'm just glad to see that everybody appreciates this car as much as what we do for sure so canada showed out man like on a fr for a friday night dude the stands were packed whenever yeah. after that first test pass that you made when the shoots came out and it got quiet dude the crowd just erupted man That's it cool. was it was cool so yeah. then we you know we come back up or you went and drew for your first round opponent i guess or negotiated for your first yeah. round opponent yeah and it was uh another nova yeah yeah and i had talked to him the day before too uh he actually drove a long ways to be here. This oh, really? was not his home track. Like, oh. and, and I'm pretty sure that it is for most of the other people, yeah. but that's cool that they let him in, you know? Yeah. Uh, had, a, had a really nice uh, 71 Nova, had the Yanko stripes and everything on it. You know, it looked cool. Uh, it was a big tire car. Uh, it, it just kind of, it seems like uh, we're, we're gonna do a lot of the same stuff with what we did over in Australia. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna negotiate and try to find good races. Um, I ended up, I didn't know anything about his car. I didn't, I didn't watch any passes of it. Well, we did a lot better uh, recon. research, recon in, in Australia than what we did here yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Like we didn't walk around, we didn't look at the cars. We didn't, we didn't do any of that stuff. Uh, we just went up there and we said, okay, we watched a couple of their cars make test passes because we got to make test passes. Mm -hmm. So it would have been smart to, to watch everybody, but we didn't, yeah. you know? It's not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, we base everything off of tire size, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, so when you based your giving him the back tire and the clear at the end, you you based his tire size, and that I was a good idea. It, I also based it off of the fact that he said he was thirty six hundred pounds. Oh, okay. I okay. have been, and and I don't it's somewhere. Don't don't quote me on it. He was heavy. He was yeah. heavy. Yeah. Um. Pretty sure he drove it to the lanes. Kind of like Australia stuff, you know yeah, what I mean? I, yeah. I feel like that dude could drive that car around. Yeah. So, uh, we learned a lot in Australia, and the one thing that I learned was, I guess unless you're Scott, you're not gonna win them all. <laughs> you know what I mean? People like, didn't think Scott gonna be Scott's all right. Scott's gonna be all right. Uh, you're, you're not gonna win them all, and, and it's, absolutely we all wanna win. Yep. But if we lose one, what are you gonna do, man? It's uh, I don't believe that we're gonna come here, and and we're we damn sure don't believe that we got the fastest small tire in Canada. Yeah, Hell, we don't have the. We were gonna say it though. We don't even have the fastest small tire on the property. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Yeah. So we're just gonna go out. We're gonna try to get good races, and of course I would like to to heads up on a small tire. Yeah. But anyways, we, I raced him. Uh, I gave him. The back tire. I gave him, yes, the back tire and the clear. Yeah. So I had to come around him. So basically, you had to make up. I set two him cars. Two two cars. Yeah, yeah, two two full cars. Yeah. Because by the time he stages with the back tires, then I I have to clear him yes. with my yeah. So and you had a strategy going into this race on how you were going to make up that two cars. Yeah, that I workout. thought I thought at least three quarter of a car I'll make up off the tree. Yeah. There's no doubt, you know. <laughs> come to find out he's a bracket <laughs> racer uh yeah and i'm telling you right now it, 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 we need to find a video we need to slow it down i felt like we was an mpk I, i'm not complaining i'm not saying that no. he guessed the light he did what he i'm had saying to do. he nailed the light yeah. and I, it was uh it was tough yeah so he got a little bit more yeah. than, than what i thought what i thought i was gonna make up he extended <laughs> on the on the light, yeah. so uh, we we after after I got down there, you know, he was stoked when he got out of the car. Yeah. He was he was excited. Well, he made a um, good pass. He did, and uh, he got out of the car, and I was like, my God, man! I was like, you nailed that tree, you yeah. know. And he just started laughing. He was like, you know, yeah, yeah I, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, no, you did it, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I did come around him, and I did win. Um, 
and we have a video of the clear at the at the finish line and uh, there might have been a fender a full front end gap in between us yeah. so we made a pretty decent lick and you know we made the pass that it took like it was yeah I know like it was with, a good without, negotiation yeah. just because it was it was still a close race yes we won but yeah. it was a close race yeah it uh, so then next pass you gave a car. I, I, got, I got a small tire car you, you got so a small it was tire small car. tire to small tire and I was stoked man and I've seen this car before and I know that this car runs well yeah uh, and against my better judgment I gave him the hit yeah. which at the very very least the hit is three tenths yes I, don't I know what this car runs I know what this car runs and I don't think that we could outrun him heads up if he runs I mean I think that we can outrun him heads up yeah. but damn sure not with giving him the hit we should have gave him the back tire the back or, tire or, may have been better or we should have gave him the clear one, one, one or the other but probably not uh, so it's one of them things uh, I was coming yeah I, 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 the I didn't video make it. downloaded into my phone right now. I haven't watched it yet, so I'd like yeah. to see where it was. It was uh, real close. He, he acted like uh, he didn't make a, a great pass. He but, said that every pass he made. Yeah, but it, you know it is what it is. Yeah. Um, afterwards, he came over and brought me his uh, his dash out of the car and was like, "Hey, will you sign this and say I got beat by a small block?" And I said, "Absolutely." Right after I say I gave that small block the hit. Yeah. So if we wouldn't have gave him the hit, we'd have beat him. Yeah. But. It's part of it. Like yeah. I said, I, I'm not going to complain about wins. I'm not going to complain about losses. We came out here uh, basically for the fans, and, and it was a good race. Uh, I was catching him. Yeah, I mean, if we'd have went as fast as what we're capable of going with this car, we'd have went around him. Unfortunately, we're we're uh, not really struggling to get a handle on a tune-up, but we're we're only picking up little by little. Well, so. and and it's tough right now because because the, the air is so bad here. Yes, you know uh, this. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. We should have brought the 136 Pro Charger for this car if we'd have realized that the air was gonna be this bad. We can't overcome the the amount of no air that's here. Not with this little Pro Charger. Yeah, uh, we're, not, we're not down without really messing with the tuna. We're down, yeah, with just us. Yes. Like we haven't had any outside help to do this. Yes. We we we've done the tune-ups for this car. We did the off the trailer yeah. down the track. Yeah, I know. It's um, uh, it's cool, but and you know. and I'm telling you right now, we're down at every bit of 12 mile an hour. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I 12, mean, 12 mile an hour is a hard, is, is hard to make up. That that's uh, because that's kind of what this car has. It doesn't 60 foot great. But man, it makes it, some steam it, it, on it the back. It makes some steam out the back. But, hey, and it still felt like it was. It's yeah. picking it all up out the back. Yes. But it's still 12 mile an hour down. Yes. I mean, what are, what are you going to do? So the second pass we pull up there, uh, we end up. Who are we racing the second pass? The the second pass. Okay, so this is the third pass. We're talking about G2 That's right. Grudge 2 against Grudge the Mustang two. that you gave a head start to. That's right. That's right. The, we got the small tire car. Yes. Uh, the gold. It's not yellow. It's like a Muscatel. It's gold. <laughs> um, Small tire, 118 turbo. Yeah. Like, uh, he, he, he was the guy that he's wanted got, to say, oh, got, I got a small block. I he's got, got my block. favorite tire ever on that car. It's got the bracket I know, radial I know, on I it. I so that. Like, Because he's a radio guy. Yeah. But, uh, that, but that's a good tire. Yes. Um, he's the guy that, uh, and I've said this before, you know, and I and this is how I know that it's bullshit. Oh, it's just a small block. Oh, yeah. No, we've had just a small I've block, I've had too. just a small block <laughs> before, too, okay? It and was I, angry. And I know, and I know <laughs> that the thing made 4,000 horsepower. Yes. Um. He had a 118, so his his turbo. I mean, that turbo gonna, will make 2,500 horsepower. Yeah, so. which is capable of more power than what this is. Yeah. And he kept saying, "Well, you got a Hemi." I get that. I get that. But yeah. how much can I put down? Yeah, but how you much know? air is going through each of them? Yeah. So, anyways, I wasn't worried about it. It would have been a good heads up race. Yeah. Uh, he wanted. He wanted a lot. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. We settled on the hit, which the hit's yeah. a lot. The hit is a lot, man. Yeah. Uh, the hit is more than the back tire. Yeah. The hit is more than the clear. The hit is uh, the single biggest advantage that you could get. It's it's three tenths, you know. If you got to clear someone, you're talking five, six numbers at, at that at that ET. Yeah. So you know? so basically, so. we get in the car. Uh, he's already in the burnout box. I get in there. I kick it into to gear. It doesn't move. No, I, no, no. That was the third pass. That was our oh, last was, pass we made. It? Yeah. it was. Yeah, against the truck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So anyways, I, I go in first, he goes in, I hear him start spooling, I give him a second, I roll in, and then as soon as I roll in, I look over at his car. And actually, you know what, I waited until he bumped in. Yeah. As soon as I saw both of his lights, I right, went up on it, and I and dude, he didn't stall me out. Like yeah. he did, he did good. Yeah, like yeah, yeah no, it, it was it was he, fine. He, he, he could have been very unfair. Yes, he did not. But I already knew that he was spooled up, so I knew he wasn't going to wait too long. Yeah, uh, and however long he was going to wait, I was going to wait too. Yeah. So I watch him, and I felt like I got the best jump I possibly yeah, could. Yeah, no, off you didn't have to car. chase him as much as it could have been. Yes. So. Uh, Whenever I watched him leave, he obviously out 60 footed me. There's there's no yeah. doubt in my mind that he did that. Yeah. Uh, and, and then at that point, uh, he's already out on me. I have to chase him down. And man, it was close. Like, I, I didn't know who actually won. Yeah. I don't know if it's as close as what it was in my mind because I haven't seen a video of it yet. Yeah. But in my head, either one of our wind lights could have came on. It seemed close to me. And then his light came on with Wilson. Yeah. So yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. And and then after that, we went up there and we we drew to see who you get. Well, I got their fastest big tire car on the property. <laughs> well, yeah. not the the Pro Mod, obviously, is faster. Yeah. But I got the the car that Ryan raced heads up and got beat by. Him. Yes. Um. Dude's cool, man. I didn't care. Oh yeah, like no, that, we talked that, to him the first cool. day we, we got here. We talked to him the first day that we got here. I love the truck. We're mm -hmm. fans of trucks. Oh yes. Uh, the dude was cool. Uh, the truck had big stuff on it. Really? Big stuff. No, the car. The car had big stuff. Oh okay. Yeah, his truck's his, got a carburetor. His, truck's got a carburetor. Yeah. So we were even more fans because we came from that exact we had that same, same setup. Combo. We had that same combo. Big in OG. block pro charger with a blow through. That's right. And so. Uh, obviously that thing is way lighter yes. because it's a carbon truck yes uh, I wasn't too worried about that we knew how fast that truck was after he outran Ryan so he gave me the hit and the clear yeah he gave me the hit and the clear hey and and that's what I needed to run with that truck yeah. um, I'm never gonna ask for more than what I think I need to have a good race uh, I, I've kind of got my ah, whatever and shake their hands same thing that I did in Australia yeah you know there's no sense in a, a arguing about it up there let's try to do whatever we can to make it a decent race if you think that you need that much now there is that times where they need this and this and this and you're like, come on man you yeah. know, let's make it a, let's at yeah. least try we'll to make find it someone else to race so with him giving me the hit and the clear I feel like it's gonna be a photo finish like I know what his truck's running. Of course, we came over here and tried to turn ours up a little bit. We didn't know if it was going to take it or not. Yeah. Uh, he, I don't know if he left good off of me. All I know is that I told him, look, I'm not going to stall you out, man. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I left on close to green. Pretty close. Pretty close like to maybe green. Maybe a one Mississippi, two Mississippi yeah. go. Yeah. So, but so, before that, you're sitting in the staging lanes. We already closed you up, started the car. And you're not rolling forward. No, I, it's it's literally just rah 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 rah. I put it in reverse, hit the trans brake, rah rah rah. Just nothing. Yeah. Car won't move. So I didn't want to get too wild with it, just in case that the pin had came out of the shifter and I couldn't see down in there. I was yeah. already strapped in. I couldn't see if the the lever was moving. So I called you over there. You looked at it. I said, just tell me if the lever's moving. And you said it was. And I was, yeah. oh man. I was hoping it'd come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But. So once you said. Yeah, it's moving. Man, hey, I, I wooded it. And about 6,000 RPM, it, <laughs> boom, it kicked in, and I went, okay, let's go. And after that, it was good. It, it, the, the transmission, for some reason or another, uh, on D-cell when we're shutting down is pulling air. Uh, I don't know where it's pulling it from. It, it's either, uh, there's a couple of places in there, man. It could just be coming through the filter, you yeah. know, pull, sucking air through the filter. Uh, it did blow, it was pretty warm the past before. It yeah. did blow out a lot. We probably should have topped it off. Uh, we yes, will today. For sure. Uh, but uh, we pull up there, he leaves off of me, and uh, I, I never saw him come back up next to me. Yeah. So I instantly thought something happened to him. Uh, when we got over there, he got out and started looking underneath the truck. So I walked over to him and I was like, yo, man, what happened? I know something happened because you wasn't next to me. Yeah. Um, he said, man, I heard something. 
and I was like, okay, so. Yeah, about 400 foot, he had a big fireball at the header. He okay. just kept it to the wood. Yeah, he <laughs> said, I heard something. I said, I knew you did, otherwise, otherwise, you'd have came up around me and it would have been a photo finish just like what we negotiated, Yeah. you know? So I, I feel like uh, we won the race that we should have lost and we lost the race that we should have won. Yeah. That big tire truck should have outran us yeah. and we should have outran the small tire car. Yeah. But you know, that that's racing, man. That's that, racing. You, you win some and you lose some. It's not always gonna be what you think it is.